In this video, we'll show pulling a single component out of MonuCAD and taking it into Memorial Designer. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll hit CP in MonuCAD in order to do a component place. And then I'll find a component that I want to use. In this case, I'll just go ahead and grab this, this one right here. Because I want to keep the name, I'll right click on it and that will give me the name of the file. So I'll just swipe from there to there, hit Control C on the keyboard, click OK and then I'll click OK to bring it in, and you can just hit Enter to place it. From there you hit DC to send it to cut. Go ahead and say yes to clean it up. And then you just need to make sure that the red box is large enough to fit everything, which it is in this case, so we're fine there. If not, you would want to resize it up here so that it fits. And then just hit cut to file. In the file name, I'm going to hit Control V to paste because we'd already copied that file name. And we'll just hit save and that way it will save as that file name for us at this point we can go ahead and exit and go into corel draw inside of corel draw we'll go up to open and we just need to navigate to the monicad slash files to cut folder because that's where it got saved it got saved as a mcp file and so instead we need to rename this and switch the mcp file extension to a .plt and hit enter. Go ahead and say yes. Sorry, I'll click on it and then say open. For your HPGL options, I've gone ahead and saved this as a MoniCAD setting, but you want to make sure you scale to 101.6, that your plotter units are 1016, and I just override on both of those things. Once it opens up, the first thing that we're going to do is just double click the pick tool. That will select everything. And we're going to combine it together. And then we'll double click the shape tool. And that will then select all of the nodes for us. You can see down here we have 1507 nodes. So in order to smooth that out, we'll just come back up here to the property bar, change the smoothness to about 5, and hit enter and that will then get rid of a lot of those nodes for us. After that, we can hit the DXF fix button and it will close any gaps and fill it in appropriately for us. And we'll just go up to file and say save as. We've already got the file name we want. So all we need to do from here is just add tags. If I tag this as a bird, and then I'll do semicolon to add another tag, perched, branch, whatever the case may be. The more descriptive you are with your tags, the easier it will be to search by those tags later. And then I can also add a category here of birds and click save. And now we've got our design converted over and it's been tagged, keyworded, and categorized.